Okay, good afternoon and welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to show you guys how to create a shower curtain holder, a little shower curtain holder, um, so that you can hold up the shower curtain. All right, we're going to go ahead and create a new, create a new design. I'm going to go ahead and change the view. This particular shower curtain holder is made out of plastic and it's uh, approximately two and a half in length by one and a half in height. So we'll go ahead and get our square tool. We're going to change the direction to define from center. I'm going to click and drag. We're going to create a square two and a half or a rectangle two and a half by 1.5. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and put a uh, radius on this part here. I'm not going to do a full radius. The last time I tried that, it didn't seem to work. So we'll go 0 0.625. That's fine. And we'll go 0.625. Yeah, we're going to create. 0.625 radius around this whole thing. Okay, now we're going to cut a little notch out right here so the part can actually fit on the shower pole. So that part's going to be an eighth of an inch. So we're going to go ahead and use the line tool. Put a line tool here in the middle. Click the select to click off of it. Click the line. We're going to offset this uh, 0.0625. To the left and then we're going to offset it 0.0625 to the right so and then we're going to zoom in control plus and go ahead and get the trim tool we're going to trim out these center pieces trim those don't need those trim the bottom lines okay now we're going to go ahead and come over here to mode 3d mode we're going to select the 3d mode and we're going to go ahead and spin the model ever so slightly. We're going to click the select tool. We're going to drag a marquee around the right endpoint. We're going to select the circle tool. We're going to go ahead and click here on the center. We're going to draw a 0.25 diameter circle. We're going to click off of it. We're going to hit the pull tool. We're going to go ahead and select the circle that we want to sweep. We're going to go ahead and click the sweep feature. I'm going to double click. I'm going to click the arrow here. Okay, now we're going to click off, click the select tool, and then we'll go ahead and go to the top view. Basically, this is our shower curtain. We only have one last thing to do. We're going to go ahead and spin, spin this. We're going to put radiuses on these. So we'll go ahead and do the switch back to the pull tool. We'll go ahead and click and drag, and we'll bring these down to 0 0.70. Looks good. So we'll go ahead and do that one, 0.70. All right. Give this a spin so you can take a look. This is a little plastic shower hook that's meant to hold up your shower curtains. Okay, we'll go back to the top view. That's going to complete this lesson for today, this tutorial. Uh, hopefully you found something useful out of this and you'll be able to print your own uh, shower curtain holders. Okay, again, thank you for watching.